Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Friday, March 1st. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 1, The Object Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. From the 12th chapter of the Gospel of John. Lord Jesus, in your servant Francis, you displayed the wonderful power of the cross. Help us always to follow you in the way of the cross, and give us strength to resist all temptation. To you, Lord, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, be all glory forever. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O come, let us worship. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for this morning is portions of Psalm 69. Save me, O God, for the waters have risen up to my neck. I am sinking in deep mire, and there is no firm ground for my feet. I have come into deep waters, and the torrent washes over me. I have grown weary with my crying. My throat is inflamed. My eyes have failed from looking for my God. Those who hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. My lying foes who would destroy me are mighty. Must I then give back what I never stole? O God, you know my foolishness, and my faults are not hidden from you. Let not those who hope in you be put to shame through me, Lord God of hosts. Let not those who seek you be disgraced because of me, O God of Israel. Surely, for your sake, I have suffered reproach, and shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my own kindred, an alien to my mother's children. Zeal for your house has eaten me up. The scorn of those who scorn you has fallen upon me. I humbled myself with fasting, but that was turned to my reproach. I put on sackcloth also, and became a byword among them. Those who sit at the gate murmur against me, and the drunkards make songs about me. But as for me, this is my prayer to you, at the time you have set, O Lord. In your great mercy, O God, answer me with your unfailing help. Save me from the mire. Do not let me sink. Let me be rescued from those who hate me, and out of the deep waters. Let not the torrent of waters wash over me, Neither let the deep swallow me up. Do not let the pit shut its mouth upon me. Answer me, O Lord, for your love is kind, and your great compassion turn to me. Hide not your face from your servant. Be swift and answer me, for I am in distress. Draw near to me and redeem me. Because of my enemies, deliver me. You know my reproach, my shame and my dishonor. My adversaries are all in your sight. Reproach has broken my heart, and it cannot be healed. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For comforters, but I could find no one. They gave me gall to eat, and when I was thirsty, 
they gave me vinegar to drink. As for me, I am, in, I am afflicted and in pain. Your help, O God, will lift me on high. I will praise the name of God in song. I will proclaim his greatness with thanksgiving. This will please the Lord more than an offering of oxen, more than bullocks with horns and hooves. The afflicted shall see and be glad. You who seek God, your heart shall live. For the Lord listens to the needy, and his prisoners he does not despise. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and all that moves in them. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. They shall live there and have it in possession. The children of his servants will inherit it, and those who love his name will dwell therein. Blessed are you, God of our hope. You restore the fallen and rebuild the broken walls. Teach us the song of thanksgiving, for you are the strength of your people. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On that day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushions. And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. With confidence and trust, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. We pray for the church throughout the world. We pray for those churches that are under threat or persecution. We pray for those churches that are struggling to have their voice heard. We pray for the Anglican Communion throughout the world, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupertsland, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. For the one holy Catholic and apostolic church throughout the world, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray for our church leaders, for our bishop-elect Rachel, our metropolitan Greg, our national indigenous archbishop Chris, our primate Linda, and the archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. For the mission of the church, that in faithful witness it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those preparing for baptism, confirmation, ordination, or consecration, and for their teachers and sponsors, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the world, 
remembering today Ukraine, Russia, Palestine, Israel, and Yemen. That a spirit of respect and reconciliation may grow among nations and peoples, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the poor, the persecuted, and the sick. For all who suffer. Remembering this day, those in our hospital, our nursing homes, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. And we pray for those among us that this day will feel the effects of systemic racism, prejudice, poverty, or homelessness. We pray for refugees, prisoners, and all in danger, that they may be relieved and protected. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who we have injured or offended, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For grace to amend our lives and to further the reign of God, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. In our prayers for the Third Order this morning, we pray for the province of the Pacific, for the Solomon Islands of Guadalcanal and Savo. We pray for the companions of the Society of St. Francis, and we pray for all inquirers and aspirants. We pray for Rita, Eduardo, Joy, Diane, James, Darlene, Maria, Patricia, Isergo, Gracella, Antonio, Elsie, Carl, Charlie, Char I'm sorry, Charles, Desiree, Noel, Anton, Loretta, Ilian, Gordon, Kay, Marcia, and Marla. And we pray for our companions, Albert, Andy, Mary, and William. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, whose Son was revealed in majesty before he suffered death upon the cross, Give us faith to perceive his glory, that being strengthened by his grace, we may be changed into his likeness from glory to glory, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.